tell us about la longue durée. I know that uh, you are not the kind of percussionist who is so much um, putting emphasis on rhythm, but much more on the duration of the sounds of uh, Töne und uh, yeah. Schall. Yeah, sounds and, and soundscapes is actually one of my favorite fields I'm working in. Longue Durée is a very inspiring title, I find. I remember when I was much younger working at the theater here in Basel, there was an actress. She was, I, I'm still not sure if she really meant it sarcastic or real, but she said, do it more often, then it becomes more true. And uh, for me, some, it, it still lingers in my mind. And uh, as a percussionist, I have this tendency to do things more often. So they become more true. And that definitely is true for sounds that you can just put into a room and then change them very slowly. And if you have the possibility to walk around in the room, then you can actually hear the different overtones and reflections and reverbs that exist in the room. And that can be very fascinating. And for the, the long durée in Trotz, there is this beautiful tower by James Terrell in which I was allowed to play two years ago. And when I was asked to be part in this uh, project, immediately the Terrell Tower came to mind. And my idea is to play a piece which is called the long roll. So it's just a roll on a drum. And I want to collaborate with the, with the sound engineer. And the idea is I worked with him for all as well. He did the recordings in all. And he's very good in, in this, what do we call the, the fishing rod. So he has the microphone mm -hmm. on a long rod and he can travel through the room. So you can actually hear resonances in the Terrell Tower, which you normally can't hear because you're not, you can't go up there. So you, the, the listener of the, of the video or the recording can actually travel in the Terrell Tower. I've witnessed sometimes in your concerts that uh, you work with the architecture, you, you uh, try out before, and then there are these moments, magic moments, where as a listener you think the sound now is physically uh, no. in the room. No. That is, of course, an aspect of long duration because uh, you need to take the time. And uh, I want to do the, the long roll here because what I do when I roll on the drum I listen to the drum and I sing with the drum. So I start to breathe with the drum. And I started to experience that when I wanted to relax when I'm doing it. So I'm trying to breathe regularly, slowly. And then I started to hum and then I started to sing with the drum. And that creates kind of a resonance in the drum with myself and with the room. And the room like the Terrell Tower has, will react on certain sounds and pitches. So it will be very interesting what's going to, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that something will be happening. And we have to activate these ghosts in the room. They're, they're there. They they're wait to be woken up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very optimistic that it could, could work. But it, you need the duration. You cannot just sit there and do it. You really, it's, it's a little bit like a Terrell effect when you go to a dark room and you have to sit there for 10 minutes before your eyes are so slowly adapt to the to this min minuscule mm. light that you start to see the structure you start mm. to see the what 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 he means mm -hmm. with his installation